So in this problem, we're asked to find the tension in each of the three cables that are supporting the sky cam. So instead of drawing a free body diagram and making it look more complex or more messy, we're just gonna work with what we have here. So this shows us all of the tension forces and the only force that's not accounted for right now is the weight or the force of gravity on the sky cam. So FG. And we can just solve for FG. FG is gonna be mass times the force of gravity since it's just acting straight down. We don't have to take any angles or anything like that. Um, so FG is equal to 20 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. Um, and then we get FG is equal to 196.2 newtons. So we know that this is 196.2 newtons. Okay, so from here, uh, we're going to want to find the components of each of these cables. So let's find the components of cable B first. So we first have tension B acting this way. Um, and we're going to have to draw it so that we can find the X, Z, and the Y component first. So that's going to look like this with this angle right here being 10 degrees. And we're, we have um, different components. So this will be our TB, our tension B, Y component. And this will be our tension B, X, Z component. So for our tension B, Y component, we have um, tension B times sine of 10. Um, and then for our tension B XZ component, we have tension B cosine of 10. And then we're going to have to break up the tension, uh, the tension B X and Z components. So to do that, we're going to want to draw another uh, one of our triangles. So in this case, we have our triangle like this with a 45 degree angle, or it's a 40 degree angle, 40 degrees right here. Um, and this is our tension B in the X and Z direction um, with components. This is going to be tension B in the X, tension B in the Z direction. So then we're going to solve for those. Um, we have tension B tension B Z is equal to tension B X Z times sine of 40 and that we can just rewrite that to be uh, when we take tension B X Z and plug it back in for here we get tension B times cosine 10 times sine 40 for our um, tension BZ and then for tension BX we get tension BXZ times cosine of 40 and we get that is tension B cos uh, cosine 10 cosine 40. So these are going to be the equations we're going to plug into our different equilibrium equations. So we're going to have to do this with tension C as well. So now that we have our components of our tension B, we're going to find our components of tension C. So we have our tension C like this with this angle here being 10 degrees. Um, tension C here, and then we have our tension C Y component right here, and then our tension C X Z component acting there. So we're going to write the um, equations for this. So our tension C Y is equal to tension C times sine of 10, and then tension C X Z is equal to tension C cosine of 10. So from here we're going to want to draw our XZ triangle and find the X and Z components. So 
This is tension CXZ. And we have this um, angle of 30 degrees right here. And it's given to us over here in this, uh, in the original picture. Um, and then we have tension CX on this. This is our tension CX component. And this is tension CZ component. So when we do that, we find tension of CZ is equal to tension CXZ times cosine of 30. And we can just plug in this value from what we found before to find TC cosine 10 times cosine 30 for our uh, tension C in the Z component. And then it's going to be the same thing. So it's going to be tension CX um, is equal to your tension CXZ times sine of 30. So we can just write tension CX is equal to tension C times cosine of 10, because that's our tension C in the X and, uh, X and Z component, times sine of 30. And then this is what we're going to be using in the um, equilibrium equations. So we can now find, we can find the tension, the components of the tension A force. That'll be easy, a lot easier. So tension A is acting to create this triangle with this angle being 15 degrees. And we have our tension A X component, tension A Y component. So our tension A X component is equal to tension A times cosine of 15 while our tension A Y, the Y component, is equal to tension A sine 15. And so now we have all the equations and all the values that we need for our equilibrium equations. So now that we have all of our necessary values and our components figured out, we can write our equilibrium equations. So net forces in the x direction are equal to the ten the tension B x component, which is tension B times cosine 10 times cosine 40. And that is going to be negative because it's going this direction on the x axis. It's negative. And then we're going to be subtracting the x component of tension C because it's also going um, that direction. So tension C times cosine 10 times uh, sine 30. And then we have our tension A x component. And that's going to be positive. That's going right on the x axis. Plus um, T tension A cosine 15. And that's equal to 0. And then we're going to do our equilibrium equation for the y. So net forces in the y direction. We're going to have negative 196.2. That's the mass of the, that's the force of gravity acting on the sky cam. Um, and then we have uh, plus tension A sine 15 plus tension B, sine 10, plus tension C, sine 10. That's equal to 0. And then from there, we have our forces in the z direction. And that's equal to um, negative tension B, negative tension B times cosine 10 sine 40 and tension B we see it's acting in the negative Z direction Z is running this way and it's acting back uh, backwards of that so that's negative um, plus 
our tension C value, tension C cosine of 10 times cosine of 30, and that is also equal to zero. So these are our three equations, and we're gonna wanna go ahead, you can solve them by hand, or you can plug them into Wolfram or any other equation solver, and we end up getting our tension A is equal to 394.4 newtons. Our tension B is equal to 311.1 newtons. And tension C is equal to 230.9 newtons. And there you have the tension in each of the three four in each of the three cables for the SkyCam, and that's our final answer.